Unlocking the Power, a guide to using Google Gemini AI. Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting video on our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of artificial intelligence with a focus on Google Gemini AI. Buckle up and get ready to learn how to harness the full potential of this cutting edge technology. Let's dive in. What is Gemini AI? First things first, what exactly is Gemini AI? It's an AI-powered chatbot packed with a plethora of features to make your life easier. From answering queries to creating content, Gemini does it all, and it does it with finesse. Now, you might be wondering, what sets Gemini apart from other AI chatbots like ChatGPT? The answer lies in its in-house language model. Unlike its counterparts, Gemini boasts its very own language model, giving it an edge in understanding and responding to human queries more accurately. Google recently rebranded its AI chatbot from Bard to Gemini, and boy, has it come a long way. Equipped with natural language processing and machine learning technologies, Gemini Pro is here to revolutionize how we interact with Google's search engine. All right, now let's get down to business. How do you actually use Gemini AI? Don't worry, folks, it's as easy as pie. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to get you started. Step one, sign up on Gemini. Head over to Gemini.Google.com and sign in using your Google account. Once you're in, you'll be greeted with the Gemini homepage. Don't forget to agree to the terms of service, and boom, you're in. Step 2. Enter your query or prompt. Now that you're all signed in, it's time to fire away your questions. Whether you're looking for information, need help with a project, or simply want to chat, just type or speak your query into the message box labeled, Enter a prompt here. Gemini will work its magic and generate a response in no time. Step 3. Interact with Gemini's response. Once you receive a response, the fun begins. You've got options, my friends. If the response hits the bullseye, give it a thumbs up. If not, hit that dislike button. You can even edit your query if needed or modify the response to suit your preferences. But wait, there's more. Gemini lets you explore different versions of responses, ask follow-up questions, and even share or export the best responses to your heart's content. It's like having your very own AI sidekick at your service. Tips for using Google Gemini AI effectively. Hey there, folks. Ready to unlock the full potential of Google Gemini AI? Well, buckle up because I've got some handy tips to help you make the most out of this powerful tool. Let's dive right in. 1. Write simple, clear, and concise queries. When it comes to communicating with Google Gemini, simplicity is key. Make sure your queries are crystal clear and to the point. Avoid jargon or overly complex language that might confuse our dear Gemini. For example, instead of saying, Can you please generate a poetic composition on the subject of bovines? Try, write a poem on a cow. Clear, concise, and straight to the point. 2. Provide sufficient information and facts. Gemini AI thrives on data, so don't hold back. The more information and facts you provide with your query, the better Gemini can understand your needs and provide relevant responses. Whether it's references, examples, or additional context, make sure to feed Gemini all the juicy details it craves. Trust me, it'll thank you with spot-on responses. 3. Turn raw data into table format. Got a bunch of raw data that's making your head spin? Fear not, for Gemini AI is here to save the day. Simply ask Gemini to work its magic and transform that chaotic mess into a neat and tidy table format. Just hit it with a prompt like turn this raw data into a table format. And watch as Gemini works its organizational wizardry. Say goodbye to data headaches and hello to clarity. 4. Fast check generated response. Picture this. You've just asked Gemini a burning question and it's delivered a response that seems spot on. But before you take it as gospel truth, why not give it a quick fact check? Simply click on the Google icon accompanying the generated response. This handy feature allows you to dive into the original sources of the information provided by Gemini. Talk about transparency, am I right? By fast checking the response, you can ensure that the information comes from reliable sources and verify its accuracy. Plus, it's a great way to satisfy your inner fact checker and gain peace of mind knowing that you're getting the most credible information possible. 5. Ask follow-up questions. Don't be afraid to keep the conversation going by asking additional questions to Gemini. After all, the beauty of AI chatbots like Gemini lies in their ability to engage in dynamic and fluid conversations. 
By asking follow-up questions, you can delve deeper into the topic at hand and ensure that you walk away with a comprehensive understanding of the subject matter. Limitations of Google Gemini AI While Google Gemini AI is undoubtedly a game-changer in the world of artificial intelligence, like any technology, it's not without its limitations. Let's take a closer look at some of the challenges you might encounter when using Google Gemini AI. 1. Hallucinate First up, we have the issue of hallucination. Now, before you start picturing Gemini going on a psychedelic trip, let me clarify. When we talk about hallucination in the context of AI, we're referring to the generation of false statements that aren't grounded in reality. Despite its impressive capabilities, Gemini AI isn't immune to the occasional slip-up. There are instances where Gemini might churn out responses that contain inaccuracies or misinformation. This could be due to a variety of factors, such as incomplete data or a lack of context. To address this limitation, it's crucial for Google to prioritize content verification and ensure that Gemini's responses are backed by reliable sources. By strengthening the foundations of its content verification process, Google can boost the credibility and trustworthiness of Gemini AI. 2. Dependence on Initial Input Next on our list of limitations is the issue of dependence on initial input. Picture this scenario. You ask Gemini a question or provide a prompt, and it generates a response based solely on that input. Sounds straightforward, right? Well, here's the catch. Gemini has a tendency to rely heavily on the initial input provided by the user. This means that the quality and depth of its responses can sometimes be limited by the specificity of the query or prompt. In other words, if you don't provide enough information or context in your initial input, Gemini might struggle to deliver comprehensive responses. To overcome this limitation, it's essential for users to be as clear and detailed as possible when interacting with Gemini. By providing ample context and relevant information up front, users can help Gemini generate more robust and informative responses. 3. Forget Sources Last but not least, we have the issue of forgetting sources. Ever received a response from Gemini that left you wondering, where did that information come from? You're not alone. One of the frustrations users may encounter when interacting with Gemini is the lack of cited sources for the information provided. Unlike your diligent high school student who always includes proper citations in their essays, Gemini doesn't always provide sources for the statements or paragraphs it generates. And even when prompted to do so, finding the right source can be like searching for a needle in a haystack. To address this limitation, Google could implement a more robust system for citing sources within Gemini's responses. By making it easier for users to access and verify the sources of information, Google can enhance the transparency and credibility of Gemini AI. Thanks for tuning in to today's video on Google Gemini AI. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. And remember, with Gemini AI by your side, the possibilities are endless. Until next time, happy exploring.